Hey, today we're going to do a, a nitrogen with potassium permanganate. Right, so in the burette, we have some potassium permanganate. In the conical flask, we have an aloquid of hydrogen peroxide acidified with uh, dilute sulfuric acid. Right, so following the procedure, we have filled up the burette with uh, KMNO4. Alright, please take note that that's not necessary for us to fill up to the zero mark. Alright, as long as you have recorded your initial reading of your burette, you may start at any point in the burette. Alright, so before you start the titration, it's good to check and read the burette uh, at eye level so as to prevent any parallax error. Alright, so the reading over here reads 1.20 cm cube. Alright, again, a reminder for dark colored solution, we're supposed to read at the top of the level. Okay, adjust the burette to a comfortable height. Okay, before you start the titration, reminder again to remove the filter funnel from the burette top. Okay, as a rule of thumb, right, it's best that you can slow as you do the titration. So it will be good if you can use your master hand to slow and your non-master hand to control the tap. So on my right handle, my right hand will be on the conical flask, my left hand will be on the burette tap. And I will control my burette tap by turning it on slowly. We can continue to let the burette run. As you can see, the pink color decolors just quite rapidly, and that means that we are still very far away from the end point. Alright, if you start adding drop wise nearing endpoint when the pink color takes much significantly longer to decolorize. Okay, as you can see, there's some KMNO4 spillage on the side of the conical flask. You may use a deionized water bottle to rinse. The spilled came in the fall into the solution in the conical flask. Well, that's the end point of the titration.